Hi, it's John Coast Mace R&D. Today we're setting up a Subaru block on our milling machine to install a set of sleeves. And this is the EJ257 block. And I just wanted to show you what our sleeve looks like here. You can see that it has a nice wide flange on it. And it also has provisions for the pin to go through. And you can see it's thick right here where it needs to be. And that's where most of the power is going to be made. We're going to show you how this is set up. Well, I made the first 200,000s cut, and as you can see, we've got most of the original cylinder out. There's still a little bit left. All right, I've got this block all machined out. I'm ready to uh, put the sleeves in. I wanted to show you what this is like, show you how much of the sleeve actually does go away when we do this job. All right, I pressed the sleeve in, and I've got several thousand pounds of pressure on it just to hold it in place and to make sure that it bottoms out in the block. This is a really important step. Well, I have the block back on the mill after installing the sleeves and we're doing a pre-bore on this thing this block is actually getting bored out to four inches so it's gonna make it about 2.6 liters all right the block is off the milling machine from boring and now we're ready to do the honing process and we're using a special fixture that we developed for doing these Subarus works out quite well actually and we'll show you how the honing process is done all right I've installed the torque plate on top of this block and we normally do this with all the sleeves that we put in these uh, because what it does is to simulate the stress of the cylinder head and believe it or not the cylinders will actually be pulled out of round when we put the bolts in there and when we hone the cylinder we'll measure it up and it'll be nice and round and when we take the plate back off we'll find that the cylinders will be somewhat distorted eh, as much as maybe about a thousandths of an inch be out of round so the idea behind this is to have nice straight cylinders when you put the heads back on and torque the block back into proper specifications. I'm going to start with a roughing stone to get this thing close to size within about thousands. Then we'll go to a finer stone and then we'll do a plateau home with some brushes. <laughs> I've changed my core stones over to a finer set and now we're going to go ahead and get the last thousands out. plate off we'll show you what the difference is. Alright the last thing to do is to use the brushes to finish off our plateau hone on this particular block. Measure these things, we can see that we've got uh, zero, zero on our cylinders. So I'm going to remove the torque plate and we'll see what the difference is. Alright, so now when we check this, you see we're fairly much on size there. When we go down the middle of the cylinder though, you can see it's about seven or eight tenths undersized. Now when we go this size, so we're a little bit over, a little bit over. 
over there. So what this cylinder has done, from the bolts being in there, is to actually go out of square, what we call out of square, in other words, out of round. So it's egg-shaped. When we put the heads back on, it will simulate the torque that we simulated with the torque plates, and the cylinders will come back around again. Now we're going to remove the block from the fixture. And we'll take it over to the resurfacing machine once we get it drained out. And we'll surface the top of the block. Well, we have our block on the resurfacer so that we can get the sleeves cut down to the deck surface. And it'll take a few thousandths to do that because we generally the cylinder is about 20 thousandths high so we have plenty to cut down. All right, the last step we've got to do on this, now that it's surfaced on both sides and we've got them both equal, is we need to run the align home through the uh, block just to make sure that the uh, main bearing housing bores are all round. When we do the sleeves, it tends to tweak the block a little bit because we put a lot of pressure on it for the installation process. So if you're going to do this sort of modification on your block, make sure that you have the block align honed as well. If you have any questions about cylinder sleeving for Subarus, Hondas, or whatever, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.